On Tuesday morning, Dr. Shashi Tharoor tweeted, and I was wrapping my head around the tweet for a while to say, I do not believe just in reform, I believe in growth, I do not dare to dictate to our society, this way thou shalt move. I simply want to be like the squirrel in the building of Rama's bridge who was content to offer his little quota of sand dust." Unquote. Swami Vivekananda. Now what in the world does that mean? Journalists will have a field day if Shashi Tharoor, the wily wordsmith, is Congress president. But is this just a pipe dream or can it be the panacea that the Congress is looking for? Joining us on the news track, I want to welcome first India's foremost political commentator, my colleague Rajdeep Sardesai. Rashid Kidwai joins us. Rashid Kidwai tracks the ins and outs of everything that happens inside the grand old party, knows every twist, every turn, every leaf on every tree. Supriya Bhardava joins us. She tracks the Congress for us, knows more about what's happening in the mind of Rahul Gandhi than anybody, most certainly in our newsroom and most probably outside too. Sanjay Jha is, well, how do I say? It's complicated. He's no longer in the Congress. Would love for Shashi Tharoor to fight and for him to be back, but then that's much tougher said than done. So let's get started. Rajdeep? Could you figure out what that Vivekanand tweet meant, in what context and more importantly, when I were with Dr. Tharoor just on Friday, that big business today event, is Shashi Tharoor going to be the next Congress president? Does he want to be the Congress president? Is he genuinely wanting to fight? Look, you know, Shashi Tharoor loves cricket, uh, Rahul. So, uh, he's tossing the ball in the air and hoping that, uh, you know, he can draw the batsman out. He's He's throwing a bit of a googly by suggesting in this article that the time has come to have a contest. I know for a fact that he's keen. Shashi Tharoor is keen to perhaps be nominated as a candidate for the Congress presidential election. But it also becomes a question of apply, apply, no reply. <laughs> because the Congress leadership mistrusts anyone who has been associated with the G23 or those who were seen to have written that letter in August 2020, which according to the Congress leadership was effectively challenging uh, the way the party was being run. So Shashi Tharoor does have that thappa, that stamp, that he was part of the G23. Another uh, weakness is that Shashi Tharoor is not an organizational person. He doesn't know the Congress organization. And finally, Rahul, the truth is that these elections, like them or not, are already pre-decided. Sitaram Kesri defeated Rajesh Pilot and the then mighty Sharad Pawar, winning 97% of the vote in 1997. Sonia Gandhi defeated Jitend, uh, Jitendra Prasad by winning 99.9% .9 of the vote. So it is very difficult for an outsider like Dr. Tharoor in a way to win the election. But I think Shashi Tharoor comes with strong advantages. He's a non-dinist. He is someone who is, uh, has, has a stature outside politics and therefore for those who are not Congress persons outside the echo chambers of the Congress he is the ideal candidate at least someone who can perhaps uh, be identified with groups other than those who are the Congress loyalists it won't help him win an election but it will at least get the Congress back once again in the narrative to that extent, if a Shashi Tharoor, for example, was to challenge anyone whom the official candidate or the Gandhi family chose as their chosen one, including Rahul Gandhi, I think it would, in a way, at least suggest that the Congress is more willing to allow some element of, uh, of a contest rather than just the nomination culture. So just one, one final point. You look at across Indian parties, Rahul, which Indian party really has inner party democracy? It's not as if J.P. Nadda was elected. It's not as if Sitaram Yechuri also truly was elected. They are selected. So Congress will select its president, but if they can create the impression of a contest, and if someone like Shashi Tharoor throws himself into a contest, I think it will give the Congress a little bit of a boost in the overall narrative yeah, I, at the I moment. I must tell our viewers that journalists and others like Rajdeep are part of the reason why Shashi Tharoor is contemplating... Uh, standing for this election because at every event like that business today event they kept you kept asking him why don't you fight 
कोई नहीं करता तो क्या मतलब वाई डू फाइड राहुल गांधी इज इनकॉम्पिटेंट बट दिस इज पॉसिबली वाई एज अ पब्लिक इंटेलेक्चुअल शशि थरूर नाउ फील्स द नीड टू राइज टू the calling and say okay at least i put up my hand and i wanted to fight no, you know i think the worry for shashi tharoor though is that if he were to fight he needs a plan b you see the congress if he fights the gandhi family candidate and loses as he almost certainly would uh, as a sort of unofficial candidate taking on the official congress uh, uh, gandhi loyalist what does he do next no he is there he could possibly have had enough of politics go back to writing doesn't necessarily need this job this is not where his money is coming from and but at least he says i tried to reform the congress and i failed you know but you need a plan b gulam nabi azad's plan b is there now he's going to go into jammu and kashmir uh, uh, jyotiraditya sindhya when he left the congress clearly knew that the but BJP shashi is not a career him. politician you know shashi had a career outside of politics unlike say uh, take whoever you yeah. want you know we uncharitable to someone but they, if they didn't have politics is a job they won't have a job they won't know what to do sure but so know, shashi can go back he's winning international honors he can do something else well he could do something else he's in his mid 60s you can always have a second third in his case it would be a third or fourth innings in life but my own sense is shashi tharoor does not want to go into an election where he will be completely decimated he would like to be in an election where at least his standing then galvanizes at least a section of the congress which frankly is tired of the sense of drift within okay so apply apply so far no reply that's the key takeaway rashid kidwai uh, you're a man of words yourself as a story it is as fascinating as someone can be somebody with the charisma the persona of shashi tharoor taking on rahul gandhi or his proxy it just makes things exciting for rajdeep and me and fathers is this actually going to happen or is this a castle that's being built in the air I think Rahul, this is a posture, a uh, clever posture. Uh, Mr. Shashi Tharoor is positioning himself because uh, there is a sense in the Congress that Gandhis are not very keen to continue having this kind of model of owning the, uh, you know, the political leadership of the party and running it. So if this kind of chapter opens, and this is what Rahul Gandhi wanted since May 2019 when he resigned as 87th president of the AICC, he wanted Congress to select leader. But there were political compulsion and courtly culture, etc. And you know, Sonia Gandhi rule continued. So this is a, 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 I would say, a very crucial time for the Congress. If Congress really kind of democratizes itself, then there is Mr. Tharoor or. Uh, Uh, Ashok Gehlot or Sachin Pilot, anybody can fight. We have seen that Rajiv was saying in 1997, Sharad Pawar and uh, 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 Rajesh Pilot contested, and it actually positioned them. Unfortunately, Rajesh Pilot died young; otherwise, he would have become first among equals in the Congress. So that is the same ploy which Mr. Shashi Tharoor seems to be employing. He is positioning himself. If he becomes leader of the, you know, of the Congress in Parliament, that will give him a platform. So he is open for some kind of, you know, quid pro quo. And remember one thing, Rahul. There are five states: UP, Bihar, Bengal, Tamil Nadu, and even if we include Maharashtra, where Congress is politically, you know, zero. But in the electoral, I mean, in the electoral college of Congress party, it has over 50 percent of vote bank. So Gandhi is technically included. So therefore, Mr. Shashi Tharoor would like to be a political Manmohan Singh. You know, you explain the situation as it stood. Without giving us your sense of whether you think he is fighting or not, see this, see this. Without fighting, he is fighting. How will he fight? There, there are no numbers. The numbers are not there. How many PCC delegates are there in Kerala? And I think over 50% of them would not vote for him if they get to know that he doesn't have backing of Rahul Gandhi. So that's the thing. In Congress, you just you test water and then you move ahead. So he's applied. Now he's waiting for a reply. Okay, Pradyut Kishore. Dev Barman is the scion of the royal family of Tripura, chairperson of the Indigenous Progressive Regional Alliance, a man who's seen the Congress at close quarters, someone who's seen Rahul Gandhi at close quarters, used to be part of uh, the core circle, then decided it wasn't worth it, and now you have this prospect of Shashi Tharoor potentially uh, jumping into the ring and saying, "I'd like to be Congress president." Do you think it will happen? Does he have a chance, or is this? Uh, bound to end up badly for dr tharoor no i don't think it will end up badly for dr tharoor i think dr tharoor is a very intelligent man i heard rajdeep say that uh, what is his plan plan b i think the plan b for shashi tharoor was politics his plan a was never politics 
so i'm sure he has thought it out and uh, to be very honest i think it's also very symbolic i think he is probably trying to position himself like a rajesh pilot would have if he had continued uh, and uh, is very unfortunate that rajesh pilot died but if he had continued after uh, the 98 election he would have been a very powerful uh, no, congress rajesh leader rajesh pilot came from the hindi heartland spoke hindi as his key language shashi tharoor for all that's right with him so comes from kerala doesn't identify powerful. and even, I, you know, remember i yeah but congress party is more powerful now outside the hindi heartland sure. and i think uh, the state where he comes from kerala is probably the last bastion in terms if you see the last lok sabha election and uh, if the congress needs to make inroads it needs to make inroads in the northeast it needs to make inroads in odisha in bengal where he has a connect with bengal so i think uh, shashi tharoor probably is thinking that uh, he would be more useful outside the hindi heartland in the hindi heartland i don't think anyone in the congress is ready to take on a narendra modi not no, even mr ashok gehlot can take on narendra modi rajat, i've Hindi. traveled with shashi tharoor in tirunavanthpuram during lok sabha and assembly elections he's seen as a bit of an oddity or an outsider even within the congress <laughs> fold like the party karyakartas you know they were indulging him and humoring him saying we have to kind of make it happen because he's not seen as a hardcore party man which he isn't he's electable uh, he wins was, in a tough was, constituency uh, he's one guy so i think it's symbolic uh, rahul yeah. we are taking too much into it finally it will be decided uh, when there is a indication from the family who they would like to see as a president but uh, his contesting would be more symbolic and uh, i think uh, that's the way ahead because you think he can uh, win pradyut i i it's it, it all depends on uh, who the indication comes from the family without the blessings of the family i don't think uh, uh, it is possible for mr tharoor to win ah, that's quite unfortunate because it hardly sounds like a democratic election because what you want like sunak and without trust having a go at each other you want to see a robust backing, election you want to see a fight you want to see a contest and uh, mr shah it is impossible for nadda to continue as president so i think that is there in all parties chok sure, that's true as well that's unfortunately absolutely true about indian politics now supriya said the cat amongst the pigeons in the newsroom when she came and announced very dramatically this afternoon that rahul gandhi will in fact contest as president she said that uh, it's not known so much in the public at this moment but he's definitely thinking about it so that no is actually not a no it could be a yes is that what you're picking up supriya this is what the congress party sources are informing us we spoke to a lot of leaders across party line there's a huge pressure on rahul gandhi they are today morning also there are leaders after leaders who are coming out and saying that uh, only rahul gandhi can take on the top mantle and what is really interesting is so his no according to you is not a real no no he technically his stand in the cwc the last cwc was that uh, he will look into the all the requests the uh, where even mr azad was present mr anand sharma was present after that uh, five uh, result of the five assembly states came and he said categorically he listened to everybody and he said okay he will consider so that is his official stand now what he says in the cwc and what is the uh, stand uh, within the party is the last stand of rahul gandhi is that now everything else rahul andar ki khabar batao na andar ki khabar ye hai he hasn't revealed his cards yet and what we are seeing is that the grand positioning which is happening and the congress party sources are saying that there's a full fledged machinery which is working behind the scene to uh, once again put a lot of pressure on rahul gandhi that he should take on uh, the top post of the congress party because right now congress party is going through a very crisis uh, situation uh, no one even if somebody like mr gelot is there there's already so much bickering which is going on in rajasthan we have seen anyone who comes at this very moment gandhi is the only glue that uh, you know uh, ensures that the entire congress is uh, there together now when priyanka gandhi has made it clear that she is not for the top uh, uh, job at the moment uh, the gandhi haven't finalized the situation so there is only two situation one one is that a congress president is sonia gandhi continues which is which is a lot of people are saying that that will not happen and one indication is uh, that the uh, the perception which is built is rahul gandhi will be the one who will be uh, back uh, from abroad where his mother is undergoing medical checkup on 2nd uh, september 4th he is going to address a rally in delhi 
then fifth we see him going to uh, Gujarat, then we see him starting that Bharat Jodo Yatra from 7th September, which is going to be a game changer as far as Congress party is concerned. And I would like to emphasize that where Dr. Shashi Tharoor's second line and the uh, cryptic tweet is, which we have trying to decode since morning is, that he certainly believes in growth because everybody in the Congress party knows that whosoever will be the next uh, Congress president, there will be massive changes in the organization. Rahul Gandhi along with 100 leaders no, will but be... some of this I have heard when he lost hmm. in Delhi, itna badal dunga, I'll change it so radically, fundamentally and then he just went off for another holiday. So some of this we've heard in the past, it's an old script and a broken record. No, but this time they have to do it because we all understand that the crisis is there. They have to come together. They have to rework on the organization. Rahul Gandhi in his resignation has categorically stated that he has to change uh, the, the organization. The Congress party has to undergo a massive transformation. Okay. So this is a phoenix moment, as I would say, for the Congress party. They have to rise from the ashes. And Congress party's all topmost leader, including Ashok Gelot, when you ask him that we heard that your name is being put, he says, no, it's not my name, so we Rahul Ji's name. So Supriya is spirited. Whether Rahul Gandhi has the spirit or not, we don't know yet. No, I am spirited about one thing. But Supriya most certainly that, in no, no, terms of I am giving her perspective no, is spirited. I am, I am not spirited about But you are only telling us what you have to no, tell us. And that's there is fine. one thing which I would like to add yes. in this thing. Because Congress party at the moment, if we speak to a lot of people and who have spoken to Rahul Gandhi is pointing towards one thing, which is really the bottom line of everything. It doesn't matter who the Congress president is. It doesn't matter who the people in CWC is. They have to go down back to the roots. They have to strengthen the uh, organization yeah, and yeah. grassroots Everybody level. Everybody knows what needs to be done, so, but no one's doing it. There's an election right in Gujarat, which is hardly being fought. There's an election in Himachal Pradesh, which is being fought largely by the state unit. Not much support from the uh, central leadership. Sanjay Jha joins us. Sanjay, you've been in and out. Uh, Shashi Tharoor is someone you know well. Does he have... A hope in hell or is this just a castle in the air? Well, Rahul, I sincerely hope that Sashi puts his hat in the ring. The Congress needs to basically tell the people of India that we are not going to give a cakewalk to anyone, that this party is beyond just a you know, family, a dynasty, private fiefdom. And that talent does get an opportunity to, com to compete. And I think, you know, as you rightly mentioned, the Congress needs a new narrative. You know, I, I honestly have been, and I will share this with you, I have been in touch with Sashi, and I have been imploring him that, you know, th these are moments that you need to really kind of, you know, bite What's he telling you? On. Tell me that. I know what you're telling him. Tell me what he's telling you. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I think Sashi is fully aware that if he fights the election and both Rajdeep and you are totally right that if the high command has a different candidate which is probably going to happen Sashi has absolutely no chance to win the election but but and this is a very crucial fundamental but that end of day the Congress party will have to wake up to the reality that you will be saying no to a man who by the way I think it's very unfair to brand him as an urban elite intellectual you know kind of heavyweight who can't connect with people. I have done multiple conversations with Sashi in different forums. I agree they have been mostly urban. But his ability to connect with people is amazing. The kind of, you know, I, I do believe that no, if Sashi... He doesn't Sashi need to connect with you. Come on. He needs to go to Bihar. He needs to go to UP. He needs to go to Bengal. He needs to but, connect with those people. Eh, Rahul, Rahul, we tell you one thing. Listen to me. 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 अरे सुनिए मेरी बात आप लोगों को लगता है कि हम लोग जरा बम्बे में बैठे हुए हैं थोड़ा अंग्रेजी बोल लेते हैं तो हम लोग बिहार में जाके रोडवा पे बैठ के प्रचार नहीं कर सकते हैं क्या आपको क्या लगता है कि हम लोग जरा थोड़ा यहाँ पिज्जा खा ले या बर्गर खा ले तो वहाँ जाके हम लोग लाठी और जेल के जेल में अंदर जाने से हम हिचकिचाते हैं अरे देखिए शशि थरूर इज अ थ्राइस वन मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट एंड आई कैन टेल यू समथिंग टुडे ही इज अ पॉपुलर वेल लाइक पर्सन एंड इन माय ओपिनियन द कांग्रेस पार्टी needs to bite the bullet on change. I also can tell you who the three candidates, the high command are likely to put forth. One will be either Mr. Gelot or it will be Mr. Kharge or it will be Mukul Vasnik. And I can tell you that if, if you were to put any of them in a debate with, uh, with Sashi Tharoor, I, I don't have to even tell you who's likely to be the winner. I think the Congress has an opportunity no, but to... Electoral really politics is not about sounding smart in a debate. I wish it were. But it's much more than that. If you sit with an Amit Shah, if you sit with 
अब भूपेंद्र यादव और धर्मेंद्र प्रधान फ्रॉम अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग टू लेट इन टू नाइट इसको उधर भेजो उसको उधर भेजो एंड आई आई टेल यू आई सीन शशि थरूर कैंपेनिंग एट वेरी क्लोज क्वार्टर्स पर्सनली दैट इज नॉट हिज कोर स्किल कांग्रेस प्रेसिडेंट as an organizational man needs to be able to marshal his resources much as Rahul. television anchors would love for there to be a fight that is not his core skill i mean it's most certainly Rahul, not Rahul, Rahul, Rahul gandhi's Rahul, core Rahul, skill Rahul, that's a different Rahul, matter altogether but it's not shashi's either no rahul let me tell you why i disagree with you okay. in terms of hard work okay now listen we all in politics everyone has a special role to play so for a while shashi has been you know doing the media he does his books he does his talks and they are hugely popular sure. what makes you think no one minute what makes you think that people aren't versatile to wear different hats and and in my opinion if if sashi tharoor is the congress president you have great press conferences he will oh, never sure. use a teleprompter and more importantly he knows his content we'll have to and carry a thesaurus just to determine that. what he's saying or oh, you know you read that tweet multiple times over to figure what in the world is going on and i see everyone is being more mindful of how they speak thinking if shashi is watching them he later judge their language skills and therefore they just being more careful with sentence construction than they'd ordinarily be now rohan gupta is watching this broadcast saying i am the official spokesperson of the congress party these guys are going round and round in a table they're not coming to me that's also because you will have the least interesting take on this because you will not tell us anything so far because no, no, you are the official all, spokesperson think, yes since you you people have opinion including sanjay ja and all the people here i think you must become member of congress party and go. na na baba na bilkul nahi i think it is important is you know let me let me complete rahul i was listening to everybody yeah, so i think ahead. all of you should vote and let the congress party office bearers and delegate decide who is going to be our president you cannot underestimate the power of congress worker if we decide that okay mr rahul gandhi is good for party we will vote for him why are we deciding in tv debate no that's not the correct forum if mr sashi tharoor he wants to fight election he is welcome we are the only party democratic party who could even dare to organize organizational election presidential election you tell me could bjp organize these elections no rahul so i think you should respect that and you should respect the wisdom of congress workers that yes we will take right decision we because our future you know, is at stake you are saying so it in a very animated fashion by... you are trying to sound convinced about what you are saying but sir we've been hearing this from 2014 it's now 2022 if it hadn't been as long as it has and if your actions even remotely matched your words you'd be taken more seriously than you are being right now See, absolutely not, Rahul. See, whether electoral benefit or electoral gain and loss—that's a part of politics. We know what kind of politics BJP is playing. It has never happened in the history of Indian politics. They have taken Indian politics to the new highs. Whether misuse of agencies or misuse of media, we have never seen this. So we are also, as a Congress party, we are adjusting and we are fighting to it. It's not that Mr. Rahul Gandhi has not fought. He, he has fought the big battles. At the end of the day, when he felt that as a president, he has not delivered. I swear we didn't do anything to that line. It went off on its own. It's not as if we were trying to deny uh, Rohan Gupta the chance. Okay, he's back. Let me complete. Uh, yes, go on. Just go on. Yeah. So if Mr. Rahul Gandhi wants to become president, who stops him? We there is no need for organizing elections. But since he doesn't want to contest, he doesn't want to be president. There are elections, and obviously as the workers, everybody has right to request him to take the uh, presidency. What is wrong? so we cannot decide in debate that what congress workers will do what should happen in congress yes we have been defended electorally that doesn't mean that future is going to be same you will see that bharat jodo yatra is going to be the game changer rahul and in the same debate you will praise rahul gandhi rahul kamar no, bhi praise rahul jodo, gandhi uh, come on yeah bharat jodo would make a lot more sense if so it started point. from gujarat and if there was a massive effort on kejriwal who has much lesser edge stake in gujarat is giving it is all in that state despite his road map being far longer congress which could have had a hope is starting from, from kanyakumari from going into kerala coming into yeah and where are you sitting at this moment when i was in ahmedabad you were in delhi the congress party yeah, so in gujarat should, should have been have, in delhi <laughs> should should be in gujarat fighting the elections in, the, in gujarat congress men are telling me why the bjp will win and how they'll win with a bigger margin than the last time there's no spirit there is no why fight there is a very serious problem see rahul rahul if you remember 2017 nobody was giving more than 36 to congress party and what happened at, at the end of the day 
we were very very close so you cannot and what happened after that how many of your mlas left and joined the bjp how long and how so sustained was your campaign power. against that's the bjp Rahul, after the campaign Rahul, how often did rahul gandhi go back to gujarat after the elections got over money power the way they are misusing the agencies they have the way they are putting the pressure obviously everybody will not be able to hold what does it happen we when even ahmed patel his election in 2017 when 15 of our mlas left we we could elect more 30 mlas so you are underestimating gujarat as far as aam aadmi party is concerned we have seen in uttarakhand what kind of hype they created they could get only more, around 2% votes so okay. i think gujarat is now rajdeep is rahul gandhi is no actually a no from what you know of the man is that no just an invitation for a chorus to grow that that no be turned into a yes and then ultimately he comes back from this long break does this yatra does this uh, bharat jodo yatra and then there's a clamor bano bano rahul api bano look i must be fair to rahul gandhi here his no has usually been no you know he can easily be the congress president the party the workers the senior leaders who are left in the party all want rahul gandhi so it's not as if rahul gandhi uh, is not the favored preferred candidate of the leadership and the workers as they stand today so when he says no i think rahul gandhi in a way is either recognizing his limitations or the limitations of the congress rahul gandhi wants to restructure the congress in a way in his own image in his own beliefs and that's not going to happen overnight he also recognizes i think that with 20 months to go 18 months to go in the election can he really at this moment change and transform the congress no i think rahul gandhi's problem in a way is that he is looking at the long term the congress is looking at the short term in the short term the congress wants immediate answers to the But what long term is he looking at he thinks i think that he said this to us i have a 25 to 30 year horizon that's right so you know someone who's looking at a 25 to 30 year horizon is probably not looking at whether i will be the uh, the congress president in the next month he wants to see can i transform indian politics in the next decade good luck to him no, modi the and shah meanwhile have actually transformed indian politics Mo which is while why he's been thinking about what he wants to do which is why the fact is that Rahul. where is where is shashi tharoor coming from shashi tharoor is representing that view within the congress which believes that you cannot think about the long term because in the long term we are dead let's first try for short term revival let's find a way of providing a more inspirational leadership at the moment a leadership that doesn't just cater to the echo chambers of the congress but is able to attract a wider uh, a voter base i keep repeating this figure raul on your show the congress won 11 crore votes in 2009 they won around 11 crores again in 2019 no additional voters the bjp went from 7 crores in 2009 to 22 crores in 2019 so the newer voters the younger voters have all gravitated towards the bjp Sanjay Jai. so shashi tharoor represents that view within the congress it's not publicly said but privately said that we cannot survive as a party unless we are able to attract new voices no and in that sense sanjay jha the gandhis at this moment represent a lot of what is wrong with the congress party dynasty incompetence disinterest not wanting to work 24/7 and therefore in that sense shashi tharoor comes with a clean image and it's very difficult to be as inept and as, as incompetent as rahul gandhi has been in the job rahul let me tell you that rahul gandhi can do the bharat joro yatra he can lead it he can walk all the way it will be good for the congress it will galvanize the public and the cadres no doubt about it he doesn't have to be the face of the party for the prime ministerial post he doesn't have to be the congress president and i don't see why that should be a problem i have always believed you rather be part of a winning team as opposed to being a captain of a ship that's clearly in turbulent waters and i'll give you one example to what rajdeep was talking about the long haul i have written about it in my book and let me tell you i was personally shocked when i heard somebody who's very close to rahul in 2014 by the way before the elections actually were announced he actually told me that i think it would be a great idea if the congress party were to lose 2014 and i asked him why and he said you know what that's the only way for us when we are in the opposition will be able to get the debris out will bring in new blood and will reinvigorate ourselves and i told him don't you think that will be a lot easier if you're in government you're in power because you'll be able to actually dedicate that focused energy towards that side he said no 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 we must be in the opposition look where the congress is today it's an existential crisis and once upon a time when we use these terms 
it appeared like some kind of a hollow rhetoric. It is not. The Congress is fighting for survival. And I think if Rahul Gandhi steps out of the race right now, it would be good for the Congress. I have said that a Priyanka Gandhi, Sachin Pilot, you know, double ticket could be the double engine for the Congress. But if they are not going to be the op option that the Congress opts for, then I think Sashi Tharoor fighting an election, even if he loses, they at least send out a message that there is some semblance of, you know, hope because people are at least speaking out for change because the Congress is no ordinary party. The Congress is not just another startup political, you know, entity. It has got a role in India's history, for God's sake. And to see it dwindle and diminish, I'm sure it breaks many hearts. Pradyut, you know Rahul Gandhi well. Do you think, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, what do you think of uh, Gulam Nabi Azad saying the man is disinterested, his own uh, close associates leave him? The likes of an RPN, Jitin Prasad, Jyoti Raditya Shindya, those who were closest to him. So forget the old guard or the debris, even those who Rahul cultivated or thought he was cultivating, who Rahul Gandhi thought were closest to him, are the ones who have gone the soonest. Azeep, I think you have to uh, distinguish between why Jitin Prasad left and uh, why Sindhya left and uh, for the matter why someone like me left. I didn't go and join the BJP after criticizing them to the hilt. Some of them have gone for convenience, some of them have gone for political opportunity and some of them actually uh, got fed up with the Congress because there was no action and they left for reasons uh, better known to them. What Gulam Nabi Azad ji has said, it's obviously a, a setback when a CD leader like him leaves. But then uh, we also have to understand that uh, my exit was not because of Rahul Gandhi, but was because of a gentleman called Luis Zino Falero, who himself has gone and joined the Trinamool. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of, you cannot completely bring it to a generational change. There are many senior people who are very good for the Congress. And there are many young people who are also there to contribute to the party. Coming back to the fundamental question which Sanjay has been raising and what Rohan has also raised. Yes, we are no longer members of the Congress party. But, you know, we do belong, at one point, we did belong to the same family and the ideology, whether it is Mamta Banerjee, whether it is Jagan, whether it is me, whether it is Sanjay. And uh, I think that the Congress party would do well if it showed to the rest of the country that we are, uh, we are planning to hold elections, which will actually reinvigorate the party. As an opposition uh, leader myself, I would like to see the Congress as a, uh, uh, as a credible opposition, because this country does need a credible opposition. Oh, most certainly. Uh, there can Sanjay, be no question Sanjay about it. Sanjay has been saying many things. Of course, Sanjay, I do agree that we need an urban, uh, uh, an urban face as well. I love your Bihari accent. We also come up with a few accents. Rahul knows that very well. But the most important fact is, what we need is... Should I tell our viewers that you can do a mimicry of Rahul Gandhi, or is that not allowed on national television? Mimicry of Modi is not allowed in national television. No, I said Rahul Gandhi. Bola. I didn't say Modi. You could do that as well. No, no, no. Nothing is allowed in national television. The only person I can mimic in national television is Rahul Kandar. That okay. won't be half as interesting. Do. <laughs> you, we saw a bit of a mimicry from Sanjay. No, 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 no. Now that we are on no. it, I must tell you, our viewers. It would be yes. really good if we can get some newer faces in the party to become an aid or an asset to the party because it will help get the younger voters no, like no, I'm, I'm I'm sorry, I must press this, I must tell our audience watching live on television tonight that Pradyut's got talent, okay, serious real talent. Now he can pick, I'm not gonna, you are the one who brought up the issue of mimicry and I didn't. No, you I can heard pick who you want. Very you can pick who you want, you can pick uh, the, the Prime Minister if you please, you can pick Rahul Gandhi, pick somebody from the Congress because you've seen a lot of them, pick whoever you want actually. And let's see some mimicry before I go back to our next set mimicry of Mimicry not going to do it, but Sanjay Ji, it's like that you don't live in Bihar. But sit in Mumbai, you give us a little bit of knowledge. If we have to win the election, then leave the Bihar too. There is a place in the South. What do you think about it? You're saying that you're saying that we will come to the program. When we come to the first time, we talk to you first. The idea is that we need a fresh breath of air in the Congress party and this election should be able to provide that even if it's symbolically. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And Rohan Gupta is wondering what in the world is going on. They're dissecting me, my party, my future. 
and everybody no, has No I love Rohan he's a great guy you know we were colleagues as well and I have always held him in very high regard he's a great person and I think uh, he means well for the party we all mean well for the country and the party the only thing is that we need the congress to get his act together so then we can know who we can talk to in the party yeah okay so rashid you have a last word for us what do you think will mostly everybody has his own theory on what should happen what should happen to the congress is not difficult the fact that india needs an opposition you know is unquestionable what do you think now will happen next congress story is congress story is very simple the mm -hmm. congress is not used to a failure of a tattoo gandhi family member because post 1969 they had this developed this dependence model where the, the job of the member of tattoo gandhi family was to fetch votes and the congress would just follow now if it wakes up and it starts you know try to run the party as per their uh, whims and fancies that uh, pv narsimha rao and to limit limited extent sitaram kesri tried it would be a very good thing but you know whether this will happen or not we have to wait and watch because in three weeks time it's very good for the congress if uh, people like uh, shashi tharoor are waking up to this idea to uh, you know head the congress or for that matter ashok gehlot and run the party in a non uh, nehru gandhi family member way i think that is going to be a very crucial thing for the congress you no know, rohan gupta the fact is that so many congressmen themselves when the cameras are turned off and when this debate will end will say you are spot on rahul gandhi is, he doesn't have his heart in the job he's not the right man for this position somebody else must step in if every single congressman or virtually every congressman who calls after the show has this to say then why is it that the party can't bring itself to thinking beyond the gandhi family it's as clear as day what you need to do the gandhis need to go you need fresh blood see when elections happen rahul i think it's a secret ballot and if i cannot speak in open obviously i will not waste my vote if i am not convinced Hmm. See Rahul, we we need to understand. You need to trust the Congress workers. It, it's not that we don't understand what's happening. Why BJP is attacking Rahul Gandhi day in and day out? He might have a different style of working, but the way he is fighting, way he is he has conviction for the country, for the future of the no, but country. But he is the easiest guy to fight. No, one second. Between a Kejriwal and a Rahul Gandhi, Rahul, Rahul Gandhi is the one second. Think of it as cricket. If you are up See, against actually, Zimbabwe, you Rahul, want to be up against Zimbabwe. You don't want to play Rahul, Australia. Rahul, you are much Rahul, rather that Rahul, Rahul Gandhi think, comes back into the ring think whether it is covid period after covid whether it is farmers agitation he has fought to the nail after you cannot question that point here is different rahul yes we have not won elections that's a different thing but that doesn't mean that we have not worked in the right direction that doesn't mean that mr rahul gandhi has not put his ideas into action you will see in future please trust us and if you don't trust us please become congress member vote for our new president i'll be very happy with that but yes whenever you come next time to ahmedabad please come and see me i'll show you what is the ground situation in gujarat and then you'll be convinced that this time also we are going to definitely make sure that we are going to give tough fight to bjp and we might have 125 seats you will laugh at me today because you are just uh, you know going into lutian reports what is there but in ground on ground situation is different in gujarat this time let me tell you that Okay, I will come back to Gujarat. I mean, there's nothing I enjoy more I, I, in journalism I, I, than traveling during an election. So I no most certainly come. will be back. Hopefully, congressmen will be in Gujarat fighting that election rather than being here and there. Uh, but that's besides the point. We've had a fascinating conversation. I'm going to give Pradyut one last chance. Pradyut, I know you do a very good mimicry of Rahul Gandhi. You cannot end this show without giving us this Bihari accent. Meaning, it's not going anywhere. Let's see your genuine mimicry of Rahul. You don't have to say something unpleasant. You can say something nice, uh, no, but no, let's no. see your uh, mimicry of Rahul Gandhi Rahul, before I. Rahul, you see, uh, uh, what we do in private, I I know uh, Rahul very well. He's a very he's a wonderful human being, uh, and uh, I would like to give him that much of respect. But all I have to say is that uh, eventually, I mean, I'm I'm not going to do this mimicry when we meet next time in Delhi. I will definitely entertain you, but the fact is. that uh, as we sit here and discuss about congress i think uh, there are uh, maximum of us are not congress members anymore and yet that we are discussing about it means that it is a extremely uh, big and important party and if the congress can get its act together for allies or uh, non allies we are in you are neutral we neither with congress neither with bjp at least we'll know who to talk to in the congress i do hope that we get a new face If Rahul Gandhi wants to fight, there's no one who's uh, who has any strength in the party to stop him. But if it's not a Gandhi, then I do believe that there should be a free and fair election, 
and whether it is Sashi, whether it is Sachin, whether it is KC Venugopal, whoever it is, uh, as long as the Congress has a face, we will know who to talk you to. Know, and I, that's when you can in, ask in me to mimic In all the things that Pradyut said, he's a shrewd politician, make no mistake, mimicry aside. He said, we will know who we need to speak to and there, there is a lot of symbolism to that. A lot of congressmen themselves, and I met some of them in Gujarat, say, now we simply don't know who to talk to. Earlier, there was Ahmed Patel, we knew how to get our word across. Now we simply don't know who to talk to. That's part of the many problems the Congress has. We could be here all night discussing this, but this is a fascinating conversation. And I hope as hell that there is a fight, as there should be. India needs an opposition, uh, because that's key to a democracy. And we need somebody who's a non-proxy, not somebody who's just picked because, you know, he's like a darbari. You don't need a darbari. There needs to be somebody who actually has the belief, the guts, the gumption and the courage to believe I can take on the BJP. At least believe that, fight that. Whether you like Kejriwal or not is besides the point. He believes he has an alternate model. He believes he's the best. He wants to fight. He doesn't have a 30 year view. He's here in Gujarat fighting at this moment. For good or for bad, that's, that's him. You need somebody with some hunger in his belly, not somebody who will go off again to Europe or to Thailand. That's not how you build a political party. That's not how you fight an election. That's not how you convince people that you are for real. This was extremely fascinating. I hope you enjoyed this conversation as well. No one knows what will happen next, but we'll keep tracking what does.